Hi hello there. How you guys doing? Hope you guys doing awesome. Yeah, it's been really a long time since our last upload. We are extremely sorry for that, but we assure you guys it won't happen ever again. So without any further ado, let's see what we gonna create today. We gonna create this with very few and easy steps. So let's get started. First step, we need to mask out the subject from the background. I have already made that. Now go to file. And create a new layer, with the height and width representing a poster size. Create a new solid fill layer, and set the color to black. Now let's bring our subject into the new canvas. I am just making this way to keep it clean. Now press Ctrl or Command T, to bring up the pre transform And now let's transform our subject, to a perfect scale to match the posture. Then convert the subject layer into smart object. Now double click on the layer to bring up the layer styles. Now hold alt key and click on the black slider to break it apart. And move it to the right, to take it from the dark area. Here's the before and after. Now the luminosity of the subject matches to the background. Create a curves adjustment layer. Now we gonna add a slight contrast to the subject. As we can see, we are having the halo effect, bleeding around the edge of our selection. To get rid of it, create a new layer, and clip it to the subject layer holding, alt or option and clicking between the layers. Now select the brush tool, with the foreground color as black, and setting the flow around 20 to 30%, and then start painting softly around the edge of the subject.
see, we got rid of it so easily. Now let's go and create a gradient map layer, from mapping the color black to white. Set the smoothness around 70, to make the contrast little bit soft. Now select all the four layers, and group it with pressing CTRL or COMMAND G. Now let's come to the second part, creating the stripes. Just simply follow these steps. Make a duplicate of this layer, and increase the width of the duplicated layer, just like this. Now let's go to the subject layer, and get the selection of the subject, by holding CTRL or COMMAND, and clicking on the icon of the layer. And click on the mask icon to create a mask, and invert the mask by pressing CTRL or COMMAND I. Set the opacity of the layer around 60%. Now make a duplicate of the stripe group, and delete the mask of the duplicated group, and move it to the right side. Set the blending mode to multiply to give it more depth. Mask out the portion of the stripes, that disturbs the subject. Again make a duplicate of the stripe layer and delete the mask of it. Now make a selection of the subject, and create a mask for the duplicated stripe group. Set the blending mode to normal, and then invert the mask, by pressing CTRL or COMMAND I.
Now let's create a new layer, and name it as, Grain. Now press Ctrl or Command A, to make select the whole canvas. Now press Alt plus Backspace, to fill the layer in black. Convert the layer into a smart object. Now go to Filter, then Noise, and then Add Noise. Set the noise amount around 15 to 20 percent. Set the blending mode to screen. Now let's go to filter, and add Gaussian blur, to soften the grain. Now set the grain opacity around 60%. Now go to color lookup table, and select edgy ember lookup. Now simply do these as follows. Let's lower the opacity around 65%, to settle it down. Now let's add a hue saturation adjustment layer, to enhance the color. And that's pretty much of it. I hope this video helped you a lot, if it did make sure to subscribe to our channel, and if you did subscribe make sure to activate the notification bell with it. Thank you so much for joining with us today, see you all in the next one. Thank you.